वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टू डिस्कस द 2023 क्वेश्चन पेपर द फ्री रिस्पांस क्वेश्चन फॉर द एपी फिजिक्स वन पेपर दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ए और द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर आई एल एक्सप्लेन द क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन सेइंग सो दिस इज अ स्प्रिंग हियर एंड अ ब्लॉक इज अटैच्ड टू द स्प्रिंग लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज द मेन पोजीशन दिस इज द मेन पोजीशन that means this is the natural length of the spring the spring is elongated brought here at a position x is equal to plus l and then relieved mean position this is the mean position right this is the mean position the block will do simple harmonic motion about the mean position and from the mean it is coming this l distance towards the right and l distance towards the left that is the amplitude of the shm the simple harmonic motion and the graph of kinetic energy versus the potential energy is shown in this figure here so for the system whatever is the kinetic energy of the system that is of the block of course because the block is moving and has some mass and the potential energy of the system that is of the spring the potential energy due to the elongation or compression of the spring the question asks that the values for the x intercept and the y intercept are the same for the graph so what is the x intercept this is the x intercept here where the graph is intersecting the x axis and what is the y intercept this is the y intercept where the graph is the line is intersecting the y axis they are both intersecting at 4 joules obviously the unit for energy is joules whether kinetic or potential so this is 4 joules this is 4 joules here so why are the intercepts the same 4 joules each is what we have to answer so first we have to understand how we get the kinetic energy and the potential energy we know the total energy of this system is going to be the same it is conserved the total energy of the system is the sum of the kinetic energy plus the potential energy this thing here is fixed no matter where the block is okay at all times the total energy is fixed when the block is at the extreme position it is at rest at the extreme position at this amplitude the velocity of the block is zero here and at this point also the velocity of the block is zero that means there is no kinetic energy of the system whatever energy is there is in the form of potential energy and when the block is at the mean position there is no elongation or compression of the spring that means there is no potential energy all the energy is in the form of kinetic energy at the mean position so t the total energy is fixed for all times right and the total energy at any time can be given as half k x square plus half m v square this is the potential energy part of it and this is the kinetic energy part of it at the amplitude at the extreme positions this part is zero and all the energy is in the form of so this is the same as half k a square okay or amplitude or here i can say this is l square half k l square is the maximum potential energy is equal to half m v not square if i say that the velocity at the mean position is v not velocity of the block is v not at the mean position so the total energy at any given point is this 
at the extreme position, this part is zero and the x is what? x is the deviation from the mean. Okay, how far it is away from the mean? That is this x value, right? At the extreme position, this x, the deviation is L here. So this is the maximum potential energy that is equal to the total energy. This is the maximum kinetic energy that is equal to the total energy again. Right? So these are equal because the total energy is fixed. So total energy is the same at any intermediate point. This is the scenario, a little kinetic energy and a little potential energy at the extreme position, all the energy in the form of potential energy. This is the energy of the system totally in the form of potential energy at the mean position. This is the energy half M V naught square at the mean position. There is no potential energy at the mean position, only kinetic energy. The total energy is equal to the maximum potential energy is equal to the maximum kinetic energy. Right? So this expression here, this equation of line is given by Ke plus Pe is equal to four. The equation of this line is Ke plus Pe is equal to, this is a straight line. This is like the, P is the X, K is the Y coordinate variable. So this is like Y plus X is equal to four equation. K plus P is equal to four. And the maximum at this point, the kinetic is zero. Potential is four. All energy in the form of potential energy. At this point, all energy is in the form of kinetic energy, potential energy. So this is corresponding to the mean position. And this is corresponding to the extreme position. Extreme positions. There are two extreme. One extreme and this one is the other extreme. Okay. So that's why this is justified that the x-intercept and the y-intercept, they have to be the same because the max kinetic energy is the same as max potential energy. That is four joules here. Okay. So this explains the reason why the max of the two have to be the same. Okay. Thank you.